everybody, Frank from the Frankie Duty channel. Thanks for watching. So if, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe or click the bell button for any future videos that come out. I got some pretty good ideas coming. I think it's uh, some ideas, you know, worth watching in video form. So be sure to check them out. So in today's video, I wanted to do a review on a multi-tool from a company called Bybury. B-I-B-U-R-Y. Bybury, Bybury, not really sure how to say it, but something like that. So I've never heard of this company before, but on my Instagram page about two months ago or so, the company re reached out to me and said, hey Frank, we'd like to see if you do a review on one of our products. Uh, so they sent me this multi-tool free of charge, they paid for the shipping, and I've been using it for the last month or so, trying to get a good handle on it, and just you know, kind of get my, my thoughts gathered together for this review so that I could give you guys an accurate representation of my opinion of it. So. I just want to say as a little disclaimer that you know now that I've gotten a little bit older and I've you know done videos for the last few years on and off I take gear reviews more and more seriously you know more seriously now than ever just because this could be your hard-earned money and I want you to really have a general idea of of what I think about the item so here's my thoughts on the Beeberry 18 in 1 multi tool so here's the case the multi-tool comes in. It's a nice little black, nice little little black case. Pretty pretty sturdy, pretty strong. It's got a nice little clip on the front. You keep the tool right in there, obviously. You have a clip on the back. You guys can see it. You can slide it right through your belt loop, or else it lifts out in the back on the bottom, so that you can just pop it right over top of your belt loop if your belt's already on your pants. It says Beeberry right on the top. You guys can see that. It's a pretty nice little case. And now comes the multi tool itself. So here's what it looks like whenever you pull it out of the case. My initial thoughts are it's got a little bit of weight to it. I'm comparing this to that SOG Power Assist I did a review on uh, six months ago or so. It's a little bit heavier. It's uh, got titanium and some steel in it with the tools themselves. But some of the titanium's in there to keep it a little bit lighter. So here, here's the dealio. Um, there's 18 tools on on this this multi-tool together which I think is about the going rate some have more some have less so the the big thing is here you want it to be practical and very functional without being overkill to the point where no one's going to use anything and I think in general they, they did a good job with that I think a lot of these these companies now do a good job with this design there's some tweaks here and there and variants you know depending on the company and the design but for the most part I think they're doing a really good job at putting a lot of stuff in these tools to the point where it's practical and not overkill to the point where no one's going to use anything so you can see the pair of pliers here obviously is the you know the centerpiece of the entire tool um, I gotta say I like how you know, these pieces of titanium on the outer edge are, are beveled and, and, and angled so that you know if you have to choke down and actually pull something out repeatedly you know, over over a somewhat long period of time, it won't hurt your hands. You know, kind of kind of uh, protects them. The covers that are on the outside of these big handles, I like that. Um, the, the the actual pliers themselves have a little you know wire stripper or cutting tool here at the base of the inside of the plier. There's a lot of texturing here. You know, to be able to grab a good handle on something, just like you would see in a lot of these multi tools. So that, that's that's impressive to me, and you know what I would expect. On the very bottom tip here is like one of those tools that you see on the end that's like a punch or you'd use it for breaking glass, something like that. You guys have probably seen that before. On the, this end there's a little hole and what you do there is you can put a little uh, screwdriver. It's a, they either come with a double sided regular screwdriver or a double sided Phillips screwdriver. And it pops right out along the back here on this end. There's a little tab. You guys can probably see it right there. It pops out. And then there's a couple tools in there. That's the regular. And I actually have the Phillips already on the table. It's right here. There's a little magnet inside the base of this hole. Just pop it right in. I think this is probably the way it's intended is to go like this. That way you can get a little bit more of a purchase on it with your whole hand. And that way the other side isn't in the way. So that makes the most sense to me. So gonna go ahead put this back okay so that's that got the pliers down so next up um, 
whenever the tool is uh, you know just coming out of the, the container you have four options sorry five options of things that actually fold out so on each arm on both sides there's a large tool and then there's actually this small tool here in the center that pops out for cutting a piece of rope you guys have probably seen these before be a little you know, a small piece here you know, with a finger groove here in the top to, to grab it easily be something good for cutting juke twine a piece of rope a piece of paracord anything like that clothesline anything like that just be uh, kind of fast you know just right there okay so you have finger grooves here in the sides finger groove finger groove and makes it easy to fold the actual tools out so the very first one I folded out was the actual the blade of the knife that comes with this the some of the about two-thirds of the cutting edge is a regular regular smooth blade and then you have a serrated serrated edge here down down at the bottom for the last third uh, I like too how all four of these that fold out at this point have a little locking mechanism on it. you guys can see it right there you depress it in in order to close it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now in, in general though before I close it I want to make this point and this this goes for all four of the main cutting tools that I'm about to pull out one thing I don't like is that because of the way that this is set up there's kind of a sharp type edge that your hand runs into on both sides whenever you you grab it hard if you're gonna do some cutting work and I don't like that because you know, if you squeeze it for a long period of time it would start to bother me I think it would bother a lot of people so that's one thing to kind of be aware of if you're using this for heavy work which I don't know if, if most people would buy a tool like this for heavy work but it's just something to be cognizant of kind of hurts your hand a little bit so that's the first tool second tool that I'm gonna fold out that also locks is a little file on one side you guys can see that and then on this side is like a little rule goes up to like six seven inches something like that okay pull this in and then we'll keep working our way around here we have a little saw same thing a little saw here folds out and we have the last tool is a multi-tool so you got you got on this on this last tool that folds out you have some different tools here you have a can opener you have a bottle opener you have a little uh, three options for like a hex hex nut some small hex net you'd have to screw off of some kind little wire strippers down here um, this is also again you know a side that locks and uh, that's, that's pretty much it those are all the tools that you know you have here I just want to say in general this is a little bit heavier this is, this is a little bit more um, cumbersome than say you know some of the Leathermans that have come out or or even the SOG power assist that I did a review on a few months ago. It's, uh, you know, you can tell that, you know, the company is, is, is establishing itself and trying to reach, you know, a, a market of, of people who aren't going to pay as much money for Leatherman's or some of the SOGs or some of the higher end tools. And in my opinion, I think that this is a good tool to go with for the price. I really do. And I explain that. So the SOG power assist that I have here that I did a review on six months ago or so, these cost about $70, something like that on Amazon. So if you go to buy one of these at a store, they could probably be anywhere from 70, 80, 90, maybe even $100. And I know about five years ago or so, they were about $120 in this black oxide finish. That's expensive for a multi-tool. Now this is a multi-tool that will last me the rest of my life. And uh, it's, it's a great tool. So. It's a great item to have but if you buy this 18 in 1 titanium Bayberry multi-tool it's only $27.99 and right now if it I'll, I'll put the, the the actual code in the description but uh, the company that gave me this for review also gave me a limited code that lasts until I think the end of June of 2019 so about another week or two um, it, it, it'll drop the price by 35% so it ends up being about $18, $19 for this tool. For $20, this is a really good deal. This would be a great tool for you to have in say a bug out bag, to have in your truck, to have in your car, to just have somewhere around, you know, because it's really not too, too significantly different than say that SOG Power Assist. 
it, yeah, it's not as well designed. Yeah, it's it's not quite as light or or as um, you know finished in a way, so to speak. But this is a great option, especially for that price. You could buy four of these for the price of one of those SOG Power Assists. So again, maybe just give it a shot if you're on the fence about what kind of multi-tool you want to buy. Give this one a thought and think about it because for the price, in my opinion, you can't beat it. I haven't seen anything that's that's this good of a cheap alternative. So Beeberry has a bunch of other products too, and I'm not an ambassador for Beeberry. I'm not um, getting paid to do this in any way other than the fact that I got this tool for free. I'm just giving you my honest thoughts. I think it's a good tool. I think that um, you know there's some things about it that yeah I'm not super wild about, but for twenty dollars I think that's a really good deal, and that's quite a package to get for for twenty dollars, even twenty seven dollars at, at regular wholesale price. You can get this on Amazon. So if you're interested in buying something like this, I'll include the link in the description, and then I'll include that code that'll save you 35% down below as well. And I think even after that code expires, there's a coupon that anyone's eligible for on Amazon to save 10% off of the $27.99. So it's something really worth thinking about. So check it out. Uh, it's a good, it's a good product. It's a little bit stiff, but uh, I think I think I recommend it. I do. So, anywho, check them out, guys. I appreciate everybody watching. There's going to be a lot of good videos to come. Thanks. Remember, get out in the woods, and I'll see you guys out there. See you in the next video.